Hey, check the crew and other viewers. As you can see, we're on the road again. Uh, this evening, we're taking a little drive down Ferris uh, Lockport. Uh, that's the town that I went to high school in. And uh, there's a lot of nice uh, waterfront stuff over there. The the historic uh, Crescent Beach was actually on the $50 bill at one time here in Canada. And uh, we'll get some footage of that. And uh, the sun's going down early this evening. Uh, it's around 7, almost 7.30 here. But uh, I'm hoping it'll still be light, uh, light enough to get some good footage by the time we get down there. If not, you'll probably never even see this. So you won't know that. <laughs> But anyway, uh, if it gets too dark on us, we'll have to get some footage some other day. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're uh, on our way down, and uh, I'll get back to you when we see something pretty or important. Well, I looked over Jordan. What did I see? Coming for to carry me home. No, just joking. <laughs> this is uh, Jordan River. It's about halfway between Shelburne and Lockport. I just wanted to take a, some footage of this first. I think it's a uh, nice looking river. Here we are just arriving at the town of Lockport. Uh, this, if you would have stayed going to the left, is what they call uh, the beach corner locally. Now we're just getting ready to haul in here to the uh, beach center parking lot. And uh, when we turn around here, you'll see they get a big picture of the, uh, what the $50 bill looked like when the Crescent Beach was on there. I uh, zoomed it in, took a shot of it here. Here I was trying to get uh, pretty much the same shot of what was I just showed you there on the $50 bill. This is the same area of the beach where they shot that photo for the bill now as you can see there's a uh, cabins up here now they was never there before can't remember exactly when they built these cabins but uh, if memory serves I think probably somewhere towards the late 90s here I left the natural audio in because I thought it Sounded nice with the waves. And as I pan over here, you'll see in the distance that big red brick building is the high school that I attended. Here we are in front of the beach center. I just want to take a shot of the extra large lobster trap they got made out there in the beach center itself now here we are traveling on the road towards town this is actually uh, Lockport used to be an island at one time this is a man-made causeway to get you over onto the island and years ago there used to be a train bridge that connected to like over to the left in the over the water they use it as a walking bridge now they call it the trussle and uh, you'll see a picture on the side of one of the buildings here later that shows uh, when the old CN rail cars used to travel that bridge here we are coming in towards the high school the elementary school is here, the first one right alongside of it. 
I started going over here in grade three after they shut down the West Green Harbor School. And then this is the high school. And then here's we're coming to the main stop sign that takes you into uh, Lockport. I also wanted to leave in the uh, live audio here because uh, I think with the gulls and the water, I think it sounds pretty nice. And there was a group of guys you see down there. I think they were playing, uh, from what it looked like to me, like bocce or some type of lawn bowling, but on the beach. Looked like they were having fun anyway. I like how the uh, sun start to set here. Looks pretty beautiful. And uh, the sky's garage area got all the buoys out on the side of there. I think it looks pretty cool. Now here we are, just driving down the road. Off to the left there is a uh, fish plants and things. You see my wife's face just popped in the picture there. Uh, and we're coming down towards the uh, government wharf where I, we stopped and took some footage but this first big home here the big uh, green and yellow one with the red roof and the barn that matches that's actually an old historic uh, Locke family home of the name that the Lockport is named after and at the end of the video I'll show you a uh, monument that they have just across the road that shows some of the old historical houses there. Here we are just in a small parking lot uh, that they got made there before you get to the government wharf and what you're seeing the footage of here is actually the government wharf in Lockport. And I uh, just thought it was nice to show some of the fishing fleet. And then as we pan across here, you get a pretty nice shot of the sun setting over the town of Lockport. I think it's really nice. So are the aerials in the shot there. But uh, yeah, quite a pretty shot in my opinion. Now here we are coming back towards that road I mentioned with the fish plants. And I'm just shooting some footage here. We're going to be going down that road. Just shooting some footage back towards the government wharf where we just was. And uh, just a different perspective. I think it's important to have all the different angles in there. Now we have a shot of the lighthouse that sets at the mouth of the harbor as you're coming in towards the wharf. And uh, you see the breakwater there just in front of it. Now we're up right in kind of the middle of town and this is uh, the Lawport Rec Center and in the front is the town office. And this used to be years ago the movie theater in Lockport and uh, just a cool little note is that uh, my mom and dad actually met here for the first time and went on their first date here and because uh, mom used to work here at the theater now here we are at a small wharf parking lot area behind the uh, Local fish plant, I'm just panning down the street that we drove down to get to the government wharf. Just another angle. As you'll see it's uh, the same boats and things. But then uh, you can see some closer boats coming up here that's on a small wharf behind the fish plant. This one gets quite close up here. <laughs> just see the back of it. Here I'm just shooting over towards another little wharf that's uh, 
just off to the side from the parking lot where we're sitting. A lot of fishermen in lot ports, so there's a lot of wharfs. Here we have the shot of that train going across the bridge that I said about earlier in the video. I think it's a nice old shot and a nice way to promote tourism by putting up shots of old uh, time photos around town. Here we are at a spot called Rude's Head and uh, just shooting back down towards the beaches and uh, getting some sky footage there. The sky, as you can see, is starting to get really beautiful with the pinks and reds and blues and all mixing together. And the clouds almost looking purple. I think it's a pretty beautiful shot. Now here we're down at what they call the south end of Lot Port. Just looking out towards the uh, water here on a, another part of the coastline. And here in a moment you'll see I uh, focus in on the lighthouse that's out on a small island or I guess rock formation that they call Gall Rock way out there but you can make it out it's a little pixelated because of the digital zoom but best shot I could get of it I guess now finally here we are at the monument that I told you about earlier depicting all the old uh, historical homes here down on the waterfront 